Okay, here I have a uh, a uh, concept of a uh, uh, machine that could uh, generate free energy. I know we have tons of videos on YouTube and and uh, multiple machines and theories and stuff um, on how to generate uh, free electricity. Well, I have a concept actually. It's a, it's my invention design, and uh, pretty much uh, we know that that we could use gravity to our advantage. For example, if if a person uh, falls uh, six feet to ten feet, let's say the person's a hundred and fifty pounds, uh, then by the time they falls ten feet, uh, that person uh, body weight becomes more because of the pull, the gravity of the Earth is so extreme that that one person will be the, the equivalent of the weight of a small truck. Uh, more or less like, you know, uh, that weight of a truck, a ton or whatever, uh, uh, that's the weight of a person, of a falling person. So uh, if they have a harness, they have to be able to uh, uh, absorb that weight of a, of a small vehicle. Um, so yes, uh, the gravity itself adds more weight to your body as you fall. Well, now we also know that G forces like, uh, like pilots and, and, um, roller coaster rides, uh, they go, um, uh, from anywhere from G1 to G10 and probably more. We know that, uh, humans can only tolerate, uh, for a few seconds, maybe, uh, G43, G44, that's only for a few seconds. And, you know, the higher the G-force is, it's uh, very deadly to a human body. Um, so, uh, you know, if they, if anything goes uh, G10 for more than a minute, the person may actually uh, not live. Let's put it that way. Um, but anyway, uh, for, uh, for the uh, G1, it's equivalent to our own gravity pull. Basically, uh, G-force is basically how much your your body weight. Let's say you're 150 pounds and on Earth's gravity. Now, if G-2, it's a twice as Earth's gravity. Uh, in theory, I would guess that G-2 would be double your body weight. So, if you're 150, uh, G-1, uh, G-2, you'll be probably 300 pounds. So, you're adding weight to your molecules, molecules in your body. So, your body's weight uh, will be twice as uh, G-1. So G2 will be 300 pounds. That's, I, I'm only estimated. I know it's uh, G, G forces are add weight to your body. So every molecule in your body system becomes heavier. Basically, the faster you go, the heavier you get. That's Einstein's theory. Uh, you know, all that stuff. Uh, pretty much, uh, um, my co concept is pretty easy. And uh, this is my invention. Uh, this is a rotating arm. Uh, using gravity itself. First of all, as the arm is up here and, and falls, normally it falls and it grabs, uh, gains uh, momentum and, and gravity pulls it and then that, that gravity may actually go up and, and then sometimes if it doesn't have anything else, it'll come back. So there's nothing there to it, right? So we got to trick uh, gravity itself and that's the key thing. We have to trick gravity into giving us more energy. The way to do that, in my, and it's just an invention, a theory, a concept, is as the arm, which is this arm right here, falls, we got to make it heavier. Make it heavier, 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 and then gaining more speed, more uh, more momentum. And then, at this point, somewhere, uh, make it lighter. So now, make it lighter, and then it'll make a full turn. So that's the trick. How do we do that? Using G forces. So if this arm is extended and this falls down, you have another arm right here, and then it's got a weight. Let's say it's got a 10 pound weight, right? This time, you see this little spinning right here. This 10 pound weight, by the time it's over here and it starts to fall, you're you accelerate it to G force. An example, G force 10. So this 10 pound weight becomes. 10 times the, the gravity of, of Earth. So if, if this is 10 pounds, I will, I will assume this will be 100 pounds. So now you have 100 pounds fallen, right? And so then, and remember I told you uh, anything over 6 to 10 feet? 
and, uh, and that becomes not 150 pounds of a person becomes the size of a truck uh, the weight so that massive weight that's a lot of energy then if you go up here for some reason you have to stop the spinning instantly so this thing's falling and it's uh, spinning so fast g-force uh, 10 so you start here spinning immediately instantly spinning a g10 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 when you get up to here you have to stop it almost immediately stop it so the weight um, of this is, uh, uh, becomes back to 10 pounds so when it gets to 10 pounds then it will com make a complete circle so now you have one wheel that completed 100 percent and this is an alternator so that spinning moves the alternator and then you, you already uh, generate the uh, electrical current with one spin very simple concept so once again let the arm drop as it drops this uh, g-force spinning it has to spin so fast uh, either for anywhere from g2 and up to g10 or whatever speed you want you could go up to g40 it doesn't matter you have to go a uh, g-force is higher uh, than what earth is so if this thing is g-force 10 then you you add the weight 10 times of what what it is let's say this 10 pounds and my theory my concept would be 100 pounds that's what i guess so this thing will become heavier 10 times because it's 10 times the earth's gravity so if this is 10 pounds and you spin a g g10 this object will become 100 pounds heavier so as it falls in theory it'll be heavier because now this object is actually not 10 pounds but 100 pounds falling and then you stop spinning right here and then and then it'll still, still have momentum but it will be original 10 pounds which is the actual 10 pounds and then you complete a cycle so that's my invention a free energy when i say free energy it means that this machine will produce free energy uh it's my invention my concept my idea um that actually may work like i said it's only theory that it may work by um um by actually uh using gravity against gravity pretty much uh, uh tricking gravity itself to thinking this object is heavier than it is and then that way if this is 10 pounds as it falls tricking it to believing this is 100 pounds by g forces and you remember i told you the faster you go the heavier you get so this object will become heavier by by more g forces so if this object is 10 pounds at the beginning uh, as it falls becomes heavier and heavier and then stop it here and it becomes back to normal whatever that original weight is we just say 10 pounds you make a complete cycle now this alternator um, um, the, the spinning actually turns it into electrical energy or current and there you go you have a uh, gravity generator machine okay but you need something here a small motor or something to make this spin this extra arm spin a g-force velocity whatever this motor is it's going to take some current maybe but um, my idea is, is this this uh, spinning would that actually uh, help with the equivalent of the gravity itself well, or are you going to be using more energy than you produce or actually going to be producing more energy than you, what you put in uh, so that i don't have the idea this is just my invention concept and and idea so uh, uh may actually work uh, that's my concept so my invention thank you guys may hopefully this changes the world